Hi, I'm Dr. Todd Lizon from Light Integration and NIR Saunas, and today I'm bringing to you a topic related to photobiomodulation I'm virtually positive you've never even heard of, and that is that photobiomodulation appears to positively impact the gut microbiome. It positively influences our gut health when you apply photobiomodulation light. This is the results of a study that was done in 2018. Uh, the study is called Photobiomodulation of the Microbiome Implications for Metabolic and Inflammatory Diseases. A lot of people don't realize that the microbiome of a healthy human is different to the microbiome of an unhealthy obese adult. The gut and the brain health, the gut and our overall health appear to be very, very related. And this isn't the video that's going to explain all about gut health to you. This is the video that's going to hopefully start to open people's eyes and realize that there's more to gut health than just the diet that you eat. So this study looked at a mouse, not a human study, and what they did is they applied the photobiomodulation to the mouse and they got the results that they were expecting and they noticed that the gut health, the good bacteria in the gut of the mouse increased. Why? Well, they have a couple of potential mechanisms on how this worked. It's somewhat relevant. There's a direct mechanism where perhaps it's when you shine the light on directly, it's going to positively impact that gut bacteria. Or they're speculating it could be an indirect response where you shine the light on the mouse, uh, the cellular mechanisms of photobiomodulation go on, and then that communicates to the microbiome. They suspect that's the case because the results actually took a period of time before you started to notice the increased gut health. But it's a really interesting study that's starting to look at the concept of what's happening with photobiomodulation and perhaps its impact on the gut. And remember, what happens in the gut impacts your overall health. So what are the implications? Well, the first implication is that a healthy human could use photobiomodulation to ensure that they've got good gut health and then in turn good overall health. But the second implication is that we can potentially start to explore the idea that photobiomodulation on an unhealthy person might then improve the gut microbiome and in turn improve that person's health. The implications there are massive because this is a very simple, easy to use home solution that could potentially help with all kinds of conditions. I'm going to read this list of the conditions because a lot of people might not realize how relevant the gut and the body overall health are. So the gut microbiome modulates, like I said, a surprising number of conditions and behaviors. So a dysregulate, dysregulated gut microbiome can affect behavior, cognition, mood, sleep, gastro diseases like ulcerative colitis, irritable bowel, Crohn's, metabolic syndrome, obesity, diabetes, cancer, cardiovascular health. Neurological is proving to be a very big one when the gut microbiome is off. That's things like multiple sclerosis, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's. I've put videos up on Parkinson's and Alzheimer's before and I'll continue to do so. Huntington's, autism spectrum, schizophrenia, anxiety, depression, chronic pain, migraine, prostatitis, weight loss, all things that the microbiome impacts. And interestingly, photobiomodulation seems to impact virtually all of those as well. So there's a link and that's why this study is so important and I'm really hoping to see a lot of research put into this over the coming numbers of years. So in summary, I have to say this, more research needs to be done before we can come to any positive 100% conclusions that photobiomodulation will positively impact the microbiome in humans, but it's looking very positive. They'll need to continue to look into it. My second summary point is that if it is proving to be accurate in this, this will have massive implications for the treatment of a lot of chronic degenerative problems that are going to be absolutely impacting our society in a huge way in the coming number of years. The third summary point I'd note is that of remote application. 
This is a really important concept with photobiomodulation that doesn't get enough attention. My video next week will be on remote photobiomodulation, but essentially remember, this is the application of near-infrared light to one area and then seeing an effect somewhere else. And this is proving to be probably one of the biggest ways that photobiomodulation works. And this will be an impact with the gut microbiome as well, because you can impact the gut microbiome by shining the light somewhere else, because it's an indirect effect is the implication from this study. And really my fourth summary point is in the meantime, before all of this research is really done, you have very little to lose by using photobiomodulation on yourself at home for the already documented evidence-based therapies. Things like skin health, uh, mood, athletic performance, wound healing, arthritis, all these sorts of things. And if in the basically in the day-to-day -day use of using these things for those conditions, you also will benefit by increased gut health, then great. But we cannot prove that at this point, but there's very little to use. You can always jump onto our website, lightintegration.com.au. Have a look at the solutions that we have for photobiomodulation, which includes near-infrared saunas, but also LED panels and lamps. Some are a little um, easier to use, some are a little bit more expensive, but we've got some various solutions for you. And you can purchase those and start using those. So there you go, photobiomodulation in the gut microbiome. Until next time, keep well.